Well, hello again, everybody. This is, um, I think, video number nine. Okay, we're coming on to the next page of instructions. Some of these steps we've already done. Some of them we'll do later. Some of them will be done later. Some of them we're going to do right now. Okay, all right, so... In uh, the end of uh, episode 8, we uh, just got done uh, shrink, shrink tubing our, um, uh, our regulator. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to hot glue, we're going to stick hot glue in the ends of this shrink tubing to try to make this more waterproof, or make it somewhat waterproof, or sweat proof if it's inside of your helmet. But first thing we need to do is okay before we hot glue the ends we need to check and make sure that everything's working and that uh, we didn't we didn't move the wires around too much so that they broke off on the inside or anything so um, okay so we're going to hook up our um, our battery and and turn on our switch which is on okay and uh, okay hold on I'm gonna put down my camera okay now that our switch is on we're going to check and make sure that uh, our regulator and everything works by hooking up just one uh, laser to see if the laser turns on okay look at that the laser turns on so that means everything is fine with our regulator and uh, all of our wires are fine so I'm gonna turn off the switch and unplug the battery okay now what we need to do is uh, okay let's zoom in okay this is the uh, the regulator and you see where there's these two wires going into the if I hold it way back here maybe it'll be in better focus that kind of focuses better. Okay, we uh, on the end of the tube, the heat shrink tubing, we take the two wires and we push them out like this, one on each side. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our hot glue gun and we're going to put it in the middle and squirt hot glue into the middle between the two wires and then push the wire over to that side and put the hot glue gun in on this side and squirt on this side and then move the two wires over to this side and put the hot glue gun in on this side and uh, squirts you know hot glue in there and then you take the wires and you, you kind of stir them around inside the hot glue that helps get the hot glue everywhere all right so uh, here we go got my hot glue gun all nice and warmed up okay okay yeah no yeah, yeah. okay 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 there we go uh, some of that in there on in the middle okay move the wires over to one side squirt it in on this side move the wires over to the other side squirt it in on that side and then you can oh geez okay I'm sorry got out of got out of the frame there sorry okay then we take the glue and uh, kind of knead it all the way around the whole thing to make sure that we get it you know between the wires and around the wires and make sure there's no holes where um, where moisture or water can get in through the through the shrink tubing okay now we're just gonna sit here and hold it like this for a little while until it uh, until it cools off I can probably pause the video while this happens okay this side is uh, pretty much uh, pretty much hardened and uh, you might be able to see that you know I got a good bead around the around the uh, opening of the hot glue well, that kind of looks like a little spot where I could probably squirt a little more hot glue I'm not really sure oh no it's okay I could see it 
it looks like it's open but i can see the there's there's a shine in there so there's glue inside of it so it's okay it just kind of looked like it uh, was was open okay now we're going to take the other side and do the same thing to the other side take the four wires and you know pull them apart and squirt there in the middle and then push them over to the other side and squirt over here on this guy and then push them to that side and squirt them that side and then stir them around a little bit inside the hot glue to make sure it's in there and uh, make sure it's uh, pretty much surrounding everything okay so here I go okay got that right there and push this wire over here to this side and squirt the hot glue in on that side and take all the wires and push them over to this other side and squirt the moon over there wow that's a wow that's a nice heck of a mess and the good thing is is um if uh, this is too much hot glue <laughs> you can and this needs to be a, a low temperature glue gun i need to find a low temperature glue gun for you guys um if there's too much hot glue you can wait for I don't know probably 30 seconds or a minute depending on how big and how hot the blob is and uh, then once it starts to turn into kind of a gel a gel state GEL then you can kind of just pick it off with your uh, with your fingernails while it's uh, cooling off and uh, just leave enough you know to be inside the inside the hole or whatever yeah, I know. This is great that you guys are sitting here watching me let hot glue cool off. Okay, that's gelled enough. And it's not very hot because it's low temperature glue. Okay, we could take that and pull off a lot of this excess here. There we go. Okay. All right. There we go. Doesn't look very pretty, but it works. Okay. All right. So uh, uh, this whole thing—the regulator and the switch and all the wires and the and the the hot heat shrink and everything, everything. This this is all. This is the regulator part is done. Now the next part. Uh, hold on. Okay, this uh, <coughs> next step is step number 11. <coughs> okay, this is step number 11. These are our laser diodes, and these are the wires. Now, the wires are soldered onto the back of the laser diode, but they're not soldered on really, really well. They're soldered on well, but uh, they're really thin wires. You could break them real easily. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the wires and we're going to straighten them out so that, uh, you know, the red is on the red side and the blue is on the blue side, you know, and make them, make them pretty much straight. Okay, good. Okay. That's good. Now the next thing to do is to glue the, glue the PC boards the PC board. You see that little flat thing on the back that the wires are glued to? That's the PC board. We need to glue over the PC board so that um, the, so that the PC board cannot touch one of the other PC boards uh, or the housing of the laser and the reason why is because if the PC boards touch the housing of one of the lasers, then it's going to short circuit, and then the laser is going to get messed up, and then you're going to have to take out your laser and replace it, and all that annoying crap. Okay, all right. So it's glued. We got plenty of glue around uh, the wires and the PC boards. 
you know and uh if the if the housings of them touch each other that's okay but if this touches like if this touches like you can you can see like there's the pc board if this touches the pc board then it might make a it might short circuit something or if it touches on that side it might short circuit something so uh that's the reason why we're putting hot glue one of the reasons why we're putting hot glue around our wires and around the pc boards and we're putting hot glue around the wires just so the wires don't uh break off when we're handling these and putting them inside of uh our enclosure to you know in our uh predator mask oh geez you know what i skipped a step no yeah i skipped a step i skipped a step okay so we just did step 11 one of the steps that we need to do is we need to uh okay hook up the battery uh, okay um uh okay i can i can do this quickly okay well, we'll hook up the battery and i can hook up the battery quickly because our switch is off okay now i'm going to turn the switch on and we got our male jst connector here with its little holes first thing we need to do is we need to go through our lasers and we need to find okay make sure the the red is on the bottom black is on the top okay we need to uh go through our lasers and put them inside of our thing there okay that works to make sure that there's uh that our lasers work okay so we need to test three lasers doing this and uh, when you test your lasers, uh, you know, shine them on the wall, see if uh, on the dot, uh, see if you see any lines or any blurry marks or any frosts or anything like that. You know, if you're looking at it on the wall, if there's any little, you know, weird blurs or anything on it, then use another uh, laser and maybe throw this LED laser away. Okay, uh, this one seems fine right now, so I'm going to use this one okay and we do the same thing with uh and we do the same thing with uh, the other two i'm going to put this one in here just so you can see okay yay it works okay and i'll do the second okay i just tested all three of my lasers that's great and i just uh showed you guys how to put glue on the pc board and the uh and the wires and uh, those are important parts. And uh, we're getting really close to being done. I think that video 10, we could probably finish up this whole uh, project. Okay, uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, glue the, or make sure, yeah, make sure your wires are straight. See these wires, they're not very straight. We gotta straighten them out. Okay, oh, okay, straighten them out in that direction. And then we're, then we're gonna, Then we're gonna glue the PC board on there. We're gonna glue onto the PC board so it doesn't connect it to anything, and also so we give a little bit of strength to these wires. These wires already feel like they're getting ready to fall off. Okay, in the, the next video, we're going to uh, put some heat shrink tubing on and strip some wires and, and uh, uh, excuse me, uh, solder some stuff, and uh, then we're done. Okay, see you in the next video.